Last time on Common Sense Soapbox. For hundreds of years, man has been forced to endure boring lectures. Until now, I give you the bore no more. I can't believe we sold out on the first day. And now for today's episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Bob to the future. To think, just a year ago, all I had was an idea. Honestly, I'm amazed. I am amazing. That's not exactly what I said. What? You're not perfect either. And sure, I've made a few mistakes here and there. But I corrected those mistakes because people stopped giving me money when I made them. Yep. Like I always say, if your business doesn't satisfy the customer, you're going under. That's a weird thing to always say. But it's true. You wouldn't be where you are now if you didn't know that. I suppose not. Charlie, I've become a successful entrepreneur. I've seen a product through its life cycle, from idea to prototype to mass production. I've made tons of money. And my best friend is a penguin who wears people clothes. By all metrics, I should be the happiest guy on the planet. So, why aren't you? It's just, the more I succeed, the more difficult it is for me to enjoy my achievements. Ah, diminishing marginal utility. What? No! I mean, every time something good comes my way, I wish my friends were around to see it. So I could rub my superior understanding of economics in their face just once. I'm sorry, Bob. But they're in the past, and you're here. But maybe I could change that. What are you saying? Charlie, I've been meaning to show you something. My newest invention! <gasps> wow, what's an exciting turn of events? Will Bob's time machine actually work? Or will the writers need a new crutch to maintain the status quo in the Fee Cinematic Universe? Find out on the final episode of Common Sense Soapbox, Bob to the Future!